So we're back to playing Valheim again, and I didn't realize that they've actually added a really, really cool set. I'm probably going to rock this set for the rest of the game. Uh, it's that cool, and I found it in the mountain biome, and this is something that's not exactly easily obtainable, but uh, once you finally get into the mountains, maybe you have your, uh, you, you know, enough frost resistance saved up, or, or maybe like you grinded out a wolf cape before you got there and have been there early or whatever, kind of like me, I actually found silver uh, without a freaking wishing bone up there, and it was a pain in the butt. But uh, I'm glad that I did it because when I was up there running around the mountains, exploring, I found something really cool called a cultist cave, which I'm going to show you a clip of us actually running through the cultist cave so you know what to expect while grinding out this gear. But this is the Finry set, and it's a three-piece set with a really cool effect so uh we're actually going to this is upgraded this is fully upgraded to the max i think it was like three or four upgrades uh, but we're gonna look at this set so you guys can see the default stats here in the workbench the finry coat now it starts off at armor 10 fully upgraded it's going to be armor 16 this goes for every piece uh, it's a hood chest piece and leggings uh, but the finry coat so you see the stats here now it comes with resistant to frost now this stacks so every time you equip another uh, piece of this set, you get more resistance to frost to where basically you might even be immune. Now, if you have all three parts, you get Fenry's Blessing. Uh, this uh, The definition is the Fenry armor makes you quick on your feet so you can pass through fire and your fists feel the power of the beast. Uh, so what this does basically is give you resistance to fire. Again, stacking for each piece, basically making you almost immune, I believe. Uh, to fire and then fists plus 15 so while I have all three pieces equipped my uh, let's see my fist skill actually has plus 15 and I actually grinded tonight I grinded some spawners over in the swamp to get my fists up to be able to do even more damage uh, now there's another piece to this set that doesn't it's not required for the set bonus but it is the it's a weapon it's a they flesh rippers so I'm going to go back into the light in here so we can show off the flesh rippers real quick. This is the weapon that comes with this set using the same materials that it costs to craft the set. And it's freaking, I mean, it's awesome, dude. I'm loving this. It does slash damage. So we're going to check out the, actually, let's go back to the forge. That's where you're going to craft this at. We're going to check out the default stats and then we're going to check out fully upgraded stats here. So. Let's find the Flesh Rippers. Here we go. It takes Finry Hair, Finry Claw, and Silver. Oh, let's look at the requirements for the set. I forgot to even look at what it costs. Uh, Finry Hair, Wolf Pelt, and Leather Scrap. So Finry Hair here is the toughest one to come by. But I will be showing you guys how to grind the set out and where to get everything you need. Uh, let's go back to Flesh Rippers here. All right, so default stats slash is 60. Fully upgraded slash is 72. Uh, let's see. The use stamina is 10. Block armor is 5. Block force is 10. Now, the nice thing with this is the parry bonus being times 6 and the backstab being times 6. So if you're stealthy, um, you're really going to be... Uh, doing a lot of backstab damage with these. Um, also, I want to say this set offered a speed bonus. Yeah, okay. I forgot to mention this set actually has a speed bonus. So each piece gives plus 3% movement speed, whereas most armors, each piece gives minus 5% movement speed. So that's really a big deal here. Uh, it helps with stamina management and stuff like that, but you're all around just a little bit quicker. Especially people that are going to be wearing like padded armor and stuff like that. You're going to be the fastest one uh, in the group nine times out of ten. So we are going to go over to... I'm not sure where I should go. Let's go back to the swamp because I know there's a nearby spawner there. Uh, and it kind of gives you guys an idea of what this does against skeletons and Draugr. Because it absolutely tears them up. Um, where is the door here? All right, so yeah, I'm going to go over here and show off the Flesh Rippers in action. And then we're going to, I'm going to show you guys a clip of me and my buddy actually clearing a cultist cave. That way you guys can kind of know what to expect uh, for how to get this thing, what you're going to have to do to get it. And like I said, the Finry hair 
is probably the most annoying part about having to get this set. I ran through a cave, cleared it, grabbed all of the Fenry hair in the cave, and it was only enough. It wasn't even enough, I think. I think I was lacking like two pieces still to make just one piece of the armor. So you're going to have to clear quite a few caves, and even more so if you plan on upgrading this stuff, because it does take quite a bit to upgrade. So I think the spawner was over here. I think I see the units now. I'm going to go ahead and start kiting some of the units. Oh my god, dude. I fully upgraded my bow tonight, and I guess... what's the, Is there backstab on here? Times three. Yeah, so I'm using needle arrows with a, a fully upgraded jogger fang, so maybe uh, maybe that's not the way to go to show off the flesh rippers. Again, stamina management is the best thing about this set, I think, because of the movement speed. Really, I don't even need to be doing my dodge rolls. I can just kind of sprint as soon as he's about to attack. So I'm going to try to show that off. You can just kind of sprint out of the way real quick. You're so fast. And this does a ton of damage to anything that's not resistant to slash. I can literally... I don't even have any healing or anything like that. I can literally sit over here uh, and just work the spawn just like this. It does get a little hairy whenever like a two star uh, something spawns like a or like god forbid a two star dragger or like brute or something but here's a one star dragger and you can see I just absolutely tear it up. Tear it up. And if you land a parry attack it's quite a bit of damage. Now the middle mouse button special attack is actually a kick so you're going to stun them and while they're stunned you can get a good damage in. Kicking pretty much is guaranteed to stagger them. as well as doing quite a bit of damage. All right, so I am going to show you guys a clip of uh, us harvesting the materials for this set and running through uh, the cultist cave, which are found in the mountains. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to throw on screen like pretty much every command uh, that you need to know if you are actually spawning this stuff in or whatever in single player. I'm going to show you guys the uh, resource console commands as well as the console commands for the items uh, of the set themselves. So anyway, I'm going to make my way back. I'm going to play that clip for you guys. Hopefully you guys enjoy the video and you got what you came here for. Keep an eye out for my uh, for other Valheim videos here on my channel. And I will catch you guys on the flip of the flop. Uh, where are we going? Uh, right here. Oh, nice. See, here's a bat. Yeah, these are some of what attacked me. I can't hit him.
Jesus. Oh. Whoa. Oh my god, bro. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I'm half health. Back out if you need to, I'm still pretty, pretty healthy. Nice. Yeah, there's these like, there's loot in here. You can also smack these bones down for bones, but that's we have a lot of that. Yeah. Oh look, new material, silver necklace for a silver or treasure chest or something. What did I just pick up? Nice. Oh, I picked up a silver necklace. Here. Yeah, I think. Have you touched it yet? It unlocks something for you. It's in that corner there. Too much? Yeah, treasure chest. Nice. Hell yeah. I'm I'm full, but see, these are what I'm looking for. These Finry hair. You can harvest it off of this and then come back and harvest more. If you don't destroy that. Or you could destroy that for one more. Oh yeah, there we go. Now I officially have the, uh, the recipe. And we're looking for a cultist trophy, you said? Yeah. For the hood? Don't destroy this and come back and harvest it. Yeah, but I wonder if we'll ever be back. We probably should just destroy it, right? You can also destroy these red banners. Can you reach that one? Dang it. Nice. Red jute. Did you pick up any of that yet? I think I did when you brought it back last time. Oh, I thought okay. there were more directions we didn't go. Yeah, there definitely is like a small maze, it seems. Oh. Maybe that's it for that part. Yeah, I think so. We got more cultists. This does really good damage against them. Silver stuff, I guess. build in here? Probably not, huh? I don't think so, because it's a instance. Oh. I have 13 hair already. Nice, I have 7. Nice.
We went in there, right? Yeah. We didn't go this way yet, down in the hole. I see the crystals. <gasps> What's that? Oh, oh wait, probably, spawn. yeah. Got too excited there. I don't have a free spot for these crystals if you want to. Yeah, that would have been cool if it was in the right biome. Are you stacking tar? Uh, no, I, I threw a tar out. To grab some hair. I guess that's it. We did it all? Yep. Dang. Wait. No, there's more. No, there's not. There's just a breakable wall, some crystal behind it. Oh, wow. Ancient cave markings. What does that do? I don't know. When I look at it, it says ancient cave markings, though. It was like behind some uh, stalactites or whatever. Oh, there's another wall, bro. Nope, just ancient cave markings.